Hello everyone and welcome back to another lesson of the Arabic language. This is lesson number 17. And today we're going to talk about something called at Al Marbuta. Al Marbuta. Which means Ata, which means the letter Ta that is tied like uh, a tie, you know, like uh, to tie something. Anyway. So basically, uh, what is a ta al marbuta? What letter is a ta al marbuta? It's not a separate letter in the alphabet, but uh, on the keyboard you would find it separate because it's written differently. So this is this shape here is a ta al marbuta, and basically the basic shape for it is like this. It's like a ha at the end of a word or when it's separate. So when it's separate, it's like this, just a circle with two dots. And when it's connected to a letter before it, it's like this. So it's kind of like the way you lo write the ha at the end of a word, but with two dots above it. Now, um, when does this letter um, come? So basically, you will find this letter at the end of any, f uh, not any, and if it comes, it will come at the end of a feminine noun only add feminine noun so it's kind of a marker when you see this the, na the the word is a noun and it is feminine so uh, by the way in Arabic we have gender for mostly everything so basically um, yeah another thing to to uh, to notice is that why is it called the tied T or a ta al marbuta it's because the letter ta in Arabic is this letter right alone so basically if you try to tie the two ends together like this aha uh -huh, so this is the same so basically that's why it's called at al marbuta and how is it pronounced well it's called a ta so sometimes it's pronounced like ta t but in other times it looks like a ha also so it's sometimes pronounced as an h and it's a bit confusing but the rule is the following the rule is if you're reading the word and you stop after that word uh, like you stop you will pronounce it as an H if you continue reading it will be pronounced as a T so uh, let me give you examples one example for example if I write this word Let's write the sentence actually. So basically, let's put an at the scale. So, <coughs> so um, how do you read this? This is Kura to. Kura tu. See, I'm pronouncing this as a tu, as a ta with dhamma. Kura tu. Al qadami. Al qadami. This qadam means foot. So it's actually the foot. And kura means ball. So this sentence means football. So kura tu al qadami. What matters here to me is the way you pronounce this letter here. If I read it, the whole sentence, I will say Kuratu al Qadami or Kuratu al Qadam. So basically, uh, if I want to read and stop here, I would say Kura. Kura. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say Kuratu, I would say just Kura. So if I stop here, I, I read only this word, I would say Kura. So here, the this shape, at al marbuta, is pronounced as an H, as a ha sound. Kura. Kura. If I continue reading, it's Kura tu al qadami. I pronounce it as a T, a ta. And basically, because this um, letter K is in the word ball, we should know that ball, it's a noun, and it is feminine. So in Arabic, Kura is a feminine. Uh, word. Another example 
is the sentence it's لعبات الطفل لعبة sorry لعبة الطفل it means the child's toy so لعبة means toy and الطفل means the child so um, notice how I pronounce it if I read it as a whole sentence it's لعبة this is as if it's a T it's as if it's written like this لعبات الطفل but if sorry let me just adjust this but if I um, stop here and read only this word it will be لعبة لعبة so it's as, as if it's this word actually لعبة. لعبة. so basically this letter transforms between a T and an H depending if whether you stop after this word and whether or or you continue so it's either لعبة as a T لعبة الطفل or لعبة لعبة that's it so basically I hope that's clear I'll give you one more example before uh, I leave and that example is so here we have two ta marbota and let's put sorry this is one whole letter so don't confuse it as a dot hadiqatu al-madrasati okay hadiqatu al-madrasa or hadiqatu al-madrasati if you want to pronounce this as a t hadiqatu so what does the sentence mean it means the schools sorry the schools garden so this word means garden this word means the schools so if I pronounce this if I read this sentence and stop here I'll say hadiqa hadiqa if I continue is hadiqatu al madrasa if I stop here hadiqatu al madrasa so this one is pronounced as a T this one is pronounced as an H a silent H if I continue for example there is something afterwards I'll say hadiqatu al madrasati blah 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 so basically you get the idea it's either T sound or an H sound and uh, maybe I'll give a hint here as, as you see the way you translate word, uh, sentences in Arabic it's the way you construct it is actually the inverse so hadiqatu al madrasati garden of the school so our sentences is a, bo a bit um, inverse so uh, basically I just wanted to you to notice that. So, uh, anyways, uh, the lesson today is about Atta al Marbuta, which is this one. I hope you understood it. And um, if you have any questions, please ask. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and stay tuned. Goodbye.